So we have seen flash ERG. Now let's see pattern ERG and pattern VEP. One of the big problems which appeared when the production of cathode ray tube stopped, and that was 10 years ago, was a replacement. Liquid crystal display are now available everywhere, but they're not as good as CRT, cathode ray tubes, to do pattern reversal stimulation. And why is it so? It's because the liquid crystal, the way it's controlled is by with an electric field that changes the polarization, and that is a slow process, something like several milliseconds compared to several microseconds when you are using a CRT. Because liquid crystal display are slow, a small difference in timing during the transition from black to white and from white to black will result in a transient flash. We have developed a technology to solve that problem. That technology is described here. On the back of the liquid crystal, we have a LED backlight, but this LED backlight is controlled from a light sensor, which is in front of the monitor. If you open the instrument, you will see the light sensor is on the side here. You have a feedback that measures the luminance from the slide sensor and corrects the change of luminance due to the liquid crystal display. So this guarantees that we have constant luminance and no transient flash for pattern reversal and also for pattern on-off stimulation. The only alternative nowadays to that problem is the use of OLED organic LED systems. One of the important feature needed for electrophysiology is to monitor what the patient is doing. We have actually two cameras, one to monitor near vision tests like um, multifocal ERG or flash ERG, and one camera on the top to monitor exams which are performed at a distance of one meter. This is an option, but it's very important specifically if you deal with young children because you want to know if they are looking at the monitor or if you're dealing with malingering patients. This camera allows a video recording throughout the exam. As you can see here, you can replay all the responses. So you see here a replay of the video showing what happens when the patient blinks. And you can visualize all these responses, but also you can eliminate those that you do not accept because of the blink, for example.